Alrighty then, we got Bad Rock, which isn't really gonna help us out at all. Let's find someone else. Or a dungeon! Let's find a dungeon too, because you know we love when I find dungeons. I have to say, if it's a freaking cave of oblivion, I'd be pissed. Alright, well, we're not going there yet. Okay. Very confused for a second. I keep waiting to get one of the mages, but she still hasn't shown up yet. I think she'll be next. Are you just a blade of grass carried on the wind? That sounds like Armbrim. I think I'm more like a willow tree. Ha! As if! This is just showing that they were all friends. And if you notice when you get Isla or Ayla, she mentions something about Grey. So, they were all pretty much going after Grey. Will I be able to defeat Grey alone? Poor Celia. <laughs> There's no going back now, is there? You've come this far and now you want to go home? That's not it. I know we can't. Yeah, well, I gave up all hope of that a long time ago. <laughs> Gosh. Artus, Rolf, I, I don't care about Lava and Arngrim. I hated them. Dungeon look familiar to you guys? How? How did it come to this? What did she do? I thought we were all friends. I thought the journey would end, that we'd all be happy. He's like a monster, isn't he? I finally found you. Celia, how did you get up here without crystals? I moved the ladder, dummy. <laughs> I cannot forgive you! You're the one responsible for everything! Cashel. Ayla. Everyone's dead! Everything went mad on that day. The day... The day that Lamia died. 
Aren't you going to say something? only through the ritual of soul transfer. I am not worthy to be chosen by you. He has a voice that I would give him. <laughs> Human, you have indeed defiled souls, blasphemed against the gods. Yep, did all that. I'm awesome. I mean, no. One who has acted as a sacrifice for the soul transfer cannot be saved through the same means. So there was nothing I could do after all. I am worthless. I must be judged. I must atone. Become then as a blade for the gods to wield. Therein lies your path to salvation. So we still really don't know what happened there. Let's go read his profile and see what this is. Okay. Nothing was known about this man of mystery. After being saved by Lemia, according to the ritual of soul transfer, he tried to save her by the same law. But his prayers were unanswered and his soul was such a break. Okay, whether by choice or fate is unknown due to the power of the dragon gem, she is, una she is able to transform into a dragon. However, she has not yet realized that her shape-shifting, a form of necromancy, is robbing her of her own identity. A young soldier from Artolia, following the footsteps of his knightly father. From a noble lineage, Lawfer had to fight against the expectations placed on him as struggling to compete with the more skilled arm group. Disdaining all profit and personal gain, he travels the land in search of adventure. <laughs> he wields an enormous sword to prepare himself for meeting a certain with a certain person. He does not disdain those who fight for their ideals. He likes disdain, apparently. There are three goddesses of fate, whose role it is to decide the person's fate after death. A mid-level goddess of the sixth rank. Her true name is Lenneth Valkyrie. A young man from a poor village in Vilnor region. Haunted by years... Haunted for years by the tragic death of his childhood girlfriend, he sees the message of her and the god in the Valkyrie. Strong in battle, but lacking in true spirit of a hero. Just hiding her face. In order to join the knighthood, she disguised herself as a man. But when the terrible secret... But what te terrible secret would drive a gentle woman into such action? Perhaps she seeks revenge against someone within the knights. After graduating head of the class in Flintsburg Sorcery Academy, she worked as a researcher. She is a perfectionist who hates to lose and admits being an egotistical narcissist with poor powers of self-healing. Okay. 